Hello and welcome to another Reflection Line video. Before we jump to the test, relax your mind. Take a deep breath. And now, imagine. You, as well as your friend Catherine, decide to attend the high school reunion. She insists on going there though you don't like the idea. At the last minute, Catherine has refused to go due to some urgent work. You have already asked your husband to stay with your child. Lately, you've become a bit tired of spending so much time together. You are afraid you will not be comfortable at the event without Catherine because you had not been very close with your classmates. You question whether you should attend or cancel. What will you do? Number one, you will go to the meeting. Number two, you will stay at home. Number three, you will go for a walk alone or with another friend. Before going to the results, here is what you can think about. Extroversion or introversion may not be over. More often, subject possesses both characteristics with a domination of one or the other. An introvert has difficulty building contacts with the people around him or her. If required, the person needs time to make contacts. It is difficult for the introvert to communicate with strangers and hates to show personal feelings. Alternatively, the extrovert strives to communicate with many people. He does not feel uncomfortable expressing his emotions. Remember that, in reality, the choice is not limited to variants, options, or typical spheres of life as it appears in our tests. It is multidimensional and diverse. If you choose to go to the meeting, you feel all right in the company of other people, and you enjoy the process of communication no matter who participates in it. If you choose to stay at home, you are not a self-assured person, and that is why you feel uncomfortable when you contact new people. It may be that you desperately need an experience of communication. If you choose to go for a walk alone or with another friend, you prefer serious heartfelt conversations, and you do not like noisy settings. You are sensitive to your demands. If you want more tests like this, you can buy our book, Imagine you are. Personality tests with moral and ethical dilemmas. The link will be in the description. Want more videos like this? Like our video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to tell us everything you think in the comments below. See you beyond the reflection line.